Hello everybody, Andrew and Gray here yet again for some more Heroes of the Storm. We've queued up its quick match, uh, on quick match I should say, um, as a random select and find ourselves playing Rhaegar. Rhaegar is a support character, he's a healer, uh, and he's also a melee unit as well, so he needs likes getting in close combat. The friendly teams in Abatha are Gul'danas, Sonya and Avala against the Jaina, Azul, another Rhaegar, a Muradin and a Nova. Uh, we find ourselves on the Towers of Doom map as well, uh, and it looks like nobody's going down bottom, so I will suppose pick that up. We haven't got any large health heroes, so I'm probably going to go a shield and a damage build, um, quite frankly. So what we're going to do as the first talent is I think we're going to go and uh, in Increase the Earthbind Totem area and range. But what that does is it slows down people who get caught in it um, so they can't get away essentially. And we'll just do some damage here and we'll just clear this way. So, what are our abilities as Rhaegar? Uh, well, we have our Q ability. What that is is a chain heal, so it heals in our life for health and then it heals up to two nearby uh, enemies for less health than that. And there is a Nova around here, uh, and we're going to heal ourselves. Uh, we're going to put a. So we know that the enemy team's down the bottom essentially. There's not a lot we can do about this because we don't have anybody to help us out. Uh, we are going to put a uh, lightning shield on ourselves, and that's going to help us clear this way. We're going to turn into dog form again and just have a quick wander around. So if there's a Nova, um, there is not. We are going to come uh, and put that down, uh, and then we're going to put a out there as well. We'll also put a W on our friend, uh, and we'll turn into dog form and try and get away as much as possible. We'll put a heal out on our friendly as well, uh, and then we'll put. Uh, we'll try and discourage the enemy Rhaegar. Uh, let's put a heal out on our Valor too. Uh, and we'll try and go up top and help out our friendly team. Okay, not quite sure what our friendly teams are doing. Still in the lanes. We should be, uh, we should be capping these really. Now, as you see, you get these altars come up on this map, and you channel, stand by it, channel it like that, and it fires projectiles across to the enemy's core. Uh, we just weren't able to help out there because of our kills. Then we're going to throw out a heal. On our down uh, there, uh, and then we're going to go and get yes, some heroes. mana. Um, for our that next what? talent at level four, we are going to increase our mana regen where we're in ghost form. Uh, this is just going to make us a little bit more. Um, Uh, give us a little bit more sustain. Let's give ourselves a lightning shield here uh, just to do some damage and wave clear like this. We'll get out of the way, we'll give ourselves some more uh, and we'll heal ourselves as well. We may as well while we have the ability and we need it up here. There's a lot going on down bottom by the looks of it but we do need to soak and get this. Now if we make, give ourselves wolf form we'll go down and help out our allies uh, and because we're in wolf form, we get more mana back. Our mana regen is better. We'll rotate down to bottom here uh, and get some uh, XP from here. And then we will also have to go down and help our friends. We're going to do that by. Ah, oh, they're not following. We're going to pop that down though. Uh, and we're going to do that. And then we're gonna Make sure there's some healing going on. Uh, we're going to have to get out of that quickish as well. Uh, and we'll give our friendly Sonya 
some healing. That is the real Nova, and what we're going to do is come around here and put that down. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to do some heal. We have no mana left, so we are going to let the friendly team know that. Uh, and that's it. That is the extent of the, the damage I can do, unfortunately. Uh, I have no health and no mana, so I am going to have to recall. It's no use me dying for this. Uh, our next talent is up, and what we're going to do is we are going to. Um, we are going to reduce cooldown, basic cooldowns. So what that does in ghost form when we attack uh, and hit somebody while we're in this form, it'll reduce our cooldowns of our first three abilities very slightly. Uh, we'll get out to the heal there just to keep it topped up. Uh, and we'll just let them know it's going to be a while before we can do any sort of heal and we're going to die as well. Not a lot we could have done there, we've already used a heal, we couldn't have got another one off really in time, so it's a great shame. A great shame. Um, we've got to be careful this wave, this push as well. Good for another round. Our trait, by the way, is just our ghost form, so rather than mountain is that we just run around. Uh, essentially and deal bonus damage as an auto attack when we attack as a wolf. That's it. Uh, we're going to come up and see if we can help out here. Uh, and we're going to get into the form here. Uh, we couldn't heal ourselves either but we did manage to um, let Valor get away, I suppose, and we secured a couple of kills as part of that as well, so that's probably worth it. We are... We're not going to get Ancestral Healing because we haven't got anybody with a lot of health, so instead we're going to go for Bloodlust. Uh, what Bloodlust does is uh, our nearby allied heroes get a 40% attack speed bonus um, and a 30% movement, movement speed bonus for 10 seconds. So let us go and help. We might be able to use this fairly soon. We don't. We want to wait until all our friendlies are in. That was ridiculous. We will put out. Uh, we will get out of the way here. Was that enough to secure? Yes it was, we did manage to get that. Uh, and hopefully our Valor uh, and Gul'dan can secure the rest of the enemy team kills. Good job. That, was, that wasn't bad. In fairness. Uh, okay, so where do we stand? It looks like we've got a big push going in mid. Uh, we're being pushed back a little bit top. I'm not quite sure what our Sonya is doing. Hopefully coming up and sorting that out. Well, Gul'dan is sorting out the bottom. Nice push going on on mid. We're getting rid of that. Um, that I, I don't know. Are those keeps? Probably. That keep quite nicely. Okay. Jane is coming to... Uh, to put us off moving there. Um, and old Gul'dan dies down bottom just missed out on the, on the kill there against the enemy Rhaegar um, there we go and uh, we'll just top that up uh, our talent we are going to um, give a shield when we cast lightning shield on somebody let's go down and defend bottom bottom has got a uh, Mercenary camp pushing it, so we'll just go and help out here. Uh, and we'll put our lightning shield on us as well. 
Oh, Sonia died to something. Uh, not quite sure what. Why, why are we doing that? Why are we... The altars stand ready. Capture them before the Raven Lord's pawns do. Right away. Yeah. We are not gonna... Guess that. We'll take one instead. Just try and keep them out of here while we get that button, and we just didn't manage it. We were just short. Uh, we tried to create a, a block there so they couldn't get past us while our friendly channels did not work at all. Basically, so we are going to lose this round of monsters essentially. Uh, and it looks like our oh, Sonya might not make it through either the way that this chase is going. Uh, our Valor needs to get out of there. Now it looks like the enemy team is far too occupied in killing our um, Sonya to actually pay any attention to Valor and take her out, except for now. Okay, let's see if we can heal up our Sonya before anything bad happens to her. Um, let's go into wolf form. They are going to be doing the, one of these, I would imagine. Uh, which one? I suggest you take this mercenary. Let's um, let's give her a lightning shield so she can take those out. Okay. As you might be able to get tell, Rhaegar is designed to do you've got forward think his heels a little bit uh, and you've also got to get in the in the middle of things really if you want to be effective playing to the battleground center use it well so he's rude to us although he cannot get out of there we'll increase our people's attack damage. I just couldn't get out of there uh, and Sonya failed to um, failed to take advantage of that. She could have done a lot of damage. Our Valor goes down as well. We really need to think of how we're working as a team. Um, we're going to increase lightning shields damage on each hit so it gets stronger the more it hits enemies. Uh, so ideally we want to cast it on people who are in the middle um, of the enemy group being focused and they should be able to deal a lot more damage. One bot where we we really can't. By the time somebody gets down there it's going to be too late. So we've got even exchange so far we need to come in here and help out quickly. Uh, we don't have our ult but we are going to do that and we are going to give a shield there. Uh, we'll put out a heal there uh, and we'll just come around the bottom here. Uh, we'll throw down an E so anything can happen there. Okay, we'll give out a heal as well to make sure we're all okay. Okay, we got two out of the three. Um, yeah, that's fair enough. The enemy Rhaegar looks like he's targeting the bottom. I'm not quite sure what we're doing here. Looks like we're going to try and push in the mid while we can. Uh, let's throw a heal to our friendlies. I think we should go bottom personally. Because uh, we've gained nothing from sticking around mid now. We've, we've got that. Uh, so let's give ourselves the lightning shield. We gain nothing other than, I suppose, defending the fact we've got an extra, uh, an extra keep, which we could be getting this bottom keep, uh, which is fairly low. Anyway, so a good push here. A safe wager. 
I suggest you take this so we've lost that one, we'll take this one. Capably done, team. And we'll just get out of the way, basically. Let's That's go. all we want to do. Get out of the way. He's not going to follow us. Uh, are we going to try and... That's fine, let's take up the top because we need to take advantage of the fact after that little run around trying to get the other Rhaegar. Um, we're trying to take advantage of that we've got this extra so that we will get one, two, three for each one of those keeps. Another one for our core, that's four, and then we've got that, if we keep that bottom left enemy tower, that will be five projectiles. Uh, we are going to cause our... Uh, what did we go for? Our bloodlust heals. Is that all? That's fine. Let's. Yes, if we take boss now, that's a good call. Will um, we will win. This realm. Uh, so that the boss giving us four that will um, that will secure the win for the team. Uh, and that bloodlust at the end helped a little bit as well, didn't it? So hopefully that went all okay. Hopefully um, you enjoyed watching that. I enjoyed playing it. So there we go. What did we do well? We managed to secure three kills, we did 16 assists, we did have five deaths, uh, which isn't great, but when you look at it in comparison to the rest of the team, we did all right. We did 38k siege damage, we did 15k hero damage, which isn't great, um, probably a little bit more expression on Rago, but quite utility as well, you're, you're a jack of all trades almost. Well, I suppose if you go bloodlust you are, you're enabling other people to deal the damage rather than you dealing it yourself. Uh, we did 26k on our healing and then 11k on our xp contributions it was a bit of a hybrid build um we didn't go all for one thing or all of another thing so it's a bit mm, middle so colossal totem so we increased the area and range of our totem by 50 percent then our feral heart increased the health and mana res restoration by 75 percent while we're in ghost form so while we're moving around we've got almost double the amount of health and regen happening Blood and Thunder, which it reduces our basic ability, so our first three, uh, so our Q, W and E. Whenever we attack as a wolf, it cools, the cooldown gets reduced by two seconds. Blood and Grants nearby allied heroes, 40% attack speed and 30% movement speed for the next 10 seconds. And then at level 13, our Earth Shield, uh, basically our Lightning Shield gives a shield that absorbs 12% of uh, health for three seconds, so it's a 12% health increase as a shield to a friendly rising storm so every time that our lightning shield damages an enemy hero uh, it's a hero remember the lightning shields damage increases by 10% and stacks up to 20 times ideal if you're casting it on a tank in the middle or somebody who's getting with high health you're getting really really focused if they manage to stay alive there's a lot of damage going there and then at level 20 we decide to go through gladiators washout so anybody with bloodlust gets healed for 30% of their basic attacks done to their primary target. So there we go. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching it, as I said. Uh, please like if you liked the video. Please dislike if you didn't like the video or there's something that you feel improved. Please leave a comment down below if there's some feedback you want to give me. And please subscribe if you like the content I'm putting out in general. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.